Welcome to Endless Learning Training Series The Membrane-Based Desalination Technology. In this video, we will study about seawater, RO, PX pressure exchanger working and PX startup sequence. We will study about how the PX work. How does the PX save up to 60% on energy costs? Why is a booster pump required when using a PX? How the permeate flow will equal the flow from the high pressure pump? What is used to lubricate flow? What is membrane water recovery and system water recovery? What is the PX lead flow, lag flow, and balance flow? How the PX flow balancing done? PX startup sequence, step one, start pretreatment system and water quality conditions should be satisfied. PX startup sequence, step two, Open RO Inlet Valve V1 and PX Inlet Valve V2 and set PXLP Flow Control Valve FCV2S set it at 59 cubic meters per hour, valve. 20 to 30 percent opening. The feed flow through the pressure exchanger may cause the rotor to begin to rotate. This rotation will be confirmed by a slight humming noise. Water circulate RO membrane through PX and booster pump. Bleed air from the system. PX startup sequence. Step 3. Start booster pump. Rotor speed will increase and remaining air will be released from the pressure exchanger and membrane modules. PX startup sequence, step four, start high pressure pump. System pressure will increase to the point where the permeate flow will nearly equal the flow from the high pressure pump. Noise level from the pressure exchanger will increase. Small variations in noise level and rotor speed are normal. Check rotors to ensure they are all rotating. How does the PX save up to 60% on energy costs, energy of reject water back into the system, thereby requiring a much smaller high pressure pump? This results in reduced power consumption as much as 60% less. Why is a booster pump required when using a PXERD? A booster pump is required to replace pressure that is lost as a result of fluid flow through the membranes. The booster pump initiates and sustains the flow through the high pressure side of the PX loop. How the permeate flow will nearly equal the flow from the high pressure pump feed water flow E equals permeate F plus reject G the feed water flow E equals HP pump flow D plus reject G the permeate F plus reject G equals HP pump flow D plus reject G that permeate F then equal to HP pump flow D. The membrane reject G is directed to the membrane feed E. A rotor moving between the high pressure and low low pressure streams 
removes the reject concentrate, G, and replaces it with feed water, B, the pressure transfers from the high pressure concentrate stream to a feed stream. The rotor spins freely, driven by the flow at a rotation rate proportional to the flow rate and lubricated by high pressure process water. Lubrication flow. Water surrounds the rotor within the PX device assembly. This water serves as a hydrodynamic bearing that floats the rotor and lubricates its rotation, preventing contact between the rotor and the components that surround it. This water must flow while the rotor is turning. This occurs naturally and continuously while the PX device is pressurized. Lubrication flow, the lubrication flow rate is a function of system pressure, PX device flow rate, feed water temperature. Lubrication flow rate at seawater RO operating pressures is typically 1% to 2% of the high pressure pump output, D through the PX device to the low pressure reject stream, H. This small flow serves an important purpose in the mechanism of the PX device and must be taken into consideration by RO process. Lubrication flow the lubrication flow rate calculated using process measurements in any of the following equations, lubrication flow equals high pressure pump flow rate minus the permeate flow rate, DF, lubrication flow equals PXHPIN minus PXHP out, GC, Lubrication flow equals PXLP out minus PXLP in HB. The note, since lubrication flow is a volumetric loss, it affects the efficiency of the PX device. Water recovery, membrane water recovery equals permeate flow rate divided by the membrane feed flow rate F slash E, system water recovery equals permeate flow rate divided by the system feed flow rate F slash A, the membrane recovery equals system recovery if PXLP flow equals PXHP flow. PX flow balancing, balanced flows, Flow rate of low pressure water fed to the PX equals flow rate of high pressure water taken from the PX for B equals C and G equals H. HP seawater outlet flow equals LP seawater inlet flow. HP seawater inlet flow equals LP seawater outlet flow. Note. At balanced flow, membrane recovery and overall recovery are equal. Lead flow. A positive lead flow occurs when low pressure seawater inlet flow is greater than the high pressure seawater outlet flow. Treated feed water is being wasted and dumped to the low pressure reject drain. LP seawater inlet flow is greater than HP seawater outlet flow. Lag flow. A positive lag flow occurs when low pressure seawater inlet flow is less than the high pressure seawater outlet flow. Excessive intermixing of concentrate with the feed will occur, which will result in lower quality permeate, increased feed pressure, and higher energy consumption. HP seawater outlet flow is greater than LP seawater inlet flow. Balance the flows to the PX done by setting the HP and LP flows equal. 
all flows in and out of the pressure exchanger should be balanced to within 5% for optimum SWRO operation. No physical connection between the flow rate on the high pressure side and the flow rate on the low pressure side of the PX, HP, and LP flows are independent. LP valve does not directly affect membrane pressure. Operating the pressure exchanger in a grossly unbalanced condition may result in failure of the hydrodynamic bearing, supply pressure changes cause LP flow rate changes so constant PX device feedwater pressure to be maintained. How the PX flow balancing done, balance the flows to the PX done by setting the HP and LP flows equal. Determine the desired amount of the PX high-pressure seawater outlet flow for your system. Adjust the variable frequency drive on the booster pump until the flow rate is achieved as seen at the high-pressure flow meter. 2. Adjust the low-pressure reject water outlet flow control valve FCV2 until the PX low pressure seawater inlet flow equals the PX high pressure seawater outlet flow. Lead or lag flow can be imposed by adjusting the low pressure flow rate through the PX or by adjusting the speed of the circulation pump, respectively. Thank you for watching this video.